Okay, hi everyone. I want to make a brief video uh, to help you upgrade better vampires, or if you're having some issues with the game, these are some troubleshooting steps that I have always, always had work with me. Uh, unless there's some sort of mod conflict, these steps should work perfectly for you. Uh, the first thing that you've got to do is rest for 24 hours in the game. And the reason you do that is other people that you've used Fears and Brace on or Vampire Seduction, um, this gives them a chance for everything to be reset. So you don't want flags set on them or if you upgrade my mod, uh, you won't be able to feed on them again. They'll have a flag set on their character. So sleeping for 24 hours is the very, very first step. And then we're going to go into my mod configuration menu. If these steps aren't working for you, um, and if you're using a custom race, I recommend that uh, you talk to TM Phoenix and his race compatibility mod. He has steps that work perfectly. Uh, they are a little bit complex though. So next I'm going to hit my mod configuration and I'm going to go into the troubleshooting and cleanup page. And we're going to reset or clear the Better Vampires mod. What it does is it resets all the variables that I have in my mod. And we have to exit out of the menu for that. And all your equipment also gets taken off just when it's resetting the normal variables for your uh, character. So you'll have to equip all your items on later. Now we're going to go back into the troubleshooting menu again. And this is necessary. We want to stop the better vampire scripts from running. So it's better if you reset Sanguinar Vampiris. And we're going to exit the menus for that. This will make you mortal again. And it stops the player vampire quest script from running. And then we'll be able to make a brand new save. And we'll be able to exit out of the game. So it says you can wait three days to become a vampire, or you can cure your disease to stay mortal. So that's fine. So I'm going to make a brand new save. Uh, don't make a quick save. It's much better if you make a brand new one. And we're going to exit out of the game. And then I'll follow along with you and show you the next steps. Okay, now that you've uh, made your new save in-game, after you reset my mod and you reset Sanguinar Vampiris, uh, I exited out of the game, and now I'm going to erase and completely remove better vampires. So I wanted to show you, if you're using Mod Organizer, it install, installs all of your mods in its own folder, and you can see better vampires is still there. And I'm going to open up Mod Organizer now, and I'm going to use it to remove my mod completely. So with Mod Organizer, scroll down here, better vampires right click on it and I'm going to remove the mod entirely and yes now for mod organizer that should be enough it should be done so I'm going to close out of it um, if you also want to make completely sure and I highly recommend this um, open up your data folder for Skyrim and you will want to double check in scripts to see if anything of my mod is left there there shouldn't be anything left and to ensure that download and use my remove better vampires batch file I'm gonna move it over into the data folder and then you can double click on it this will make sure that there's nothing left of my mod whatsoever in case uh, something happened and you miss some scripts I'll double click on it hit a key to continue and delete this batch file and I'm gonna say yes and everything's gone the batch file's gone anything that was in my mod has now been completely eliminated from it so after you have uh, completely wiped out all traces of better vampires, we're going to start up Mod Organizer. And I'm going to hit Run, and I'm going to load up my last save, and I'll show you how to continue in-game. Okay, I've uh, gone back into Skyrim, and I'm about to load up the save we made previously, uh, where we reset all the variables in my mod. And you're going to get a little warning window that comes up that says some contents no longer available you can click yes that's fine uh, we already got rid of better vampires so basically it's saying that uh, hey wait a second we're missing a mod but that's fine when we're making this well quote unquote clean save um, in between 
an old version and a new version or if you're troubleshooting that step is absolutely essential we need to do that so now that i'm back in the game there's no trace of better vampires mod whatsoever i've loaded up my save game i'm going to make a brand new save so this is without any part of better vampires whatsoever in it so now i'm going to exit out of the game back to the desktop quickly and i'll show you what to do in the next steps okay now that i'm uh, back out of the game again uh, i'm going to use the save game script cleaner by hataram and i'm going to use that on the file that i just made so i'm going to open it up go to my profile and this is the last save and you're going to see 16 orphan script instances found and that's normal because we've removed the mod uh, so those scripts aren't there anymore so we're just going to click fix script instances removed and it's also a good idea to click delete all and there were nine scripts and 17 instances removed and I'm going to save a new copy of this and we're done it's really quite that simple now I don't think you have to use script cleaner uh, before it was ever released I used to use this quote unquote clean save method and it worked perfectly fine but this is an extra step just in case I do recommend it you can try it without but I highly recommend you use it so now that I've got my clean save set I'm gonna go back and I'm going to try to reinstall better vampires so I'm gonna go back to mod organizer and you can use the Nexus, uh, if you're using Nexus Mod Manager, you can download my mod through that. Uh, I already have a copy on my desktop, so I'm going to use it here. And I'm going to reinstall Better Vampires. My loader comes up. I'm using Dawn Guard, and I'm not going to use a patch or another option. I'm going to install it back in here. Now for me, um, just because I've organized where all of my different mods go better vampires for me was in uh, slot 14 and I'll just slide that back up to it now uh, it probably doesn't matter but it's what I've gotten used to so I'm going to enable my mod and you can see that better vampires is now down at the very bottom and after you've installed it you have to use loot that's going to sort your load order and it's going to solve a lot of problems that might come from having things in the wrong order and being overwritten. So I'm going to sort my plugins. I'm currently using, uh, uh, looks like 123 different mods. So there we go. So I'm going to click apply. And there are some dirty plugins. Uh, some of them the mod authors have said not to clean, so I'm leaving them alone. And I'll exit out of this. And Better Vampires has been set properly in its load order. And now I'm ready to load up the game and I'm going to go to my last save and I'll see you in game for the last time and we'll get better vampires up and running. Okay, so here I am back in game and you can see from the uh, save game script cleaner, it does make a backup of your previous save just in case something went wrong with it. But this is the one that uh, it helped clean and fix. So I'm going to load that one up. And we'll go in and we'll set up better vampires now. Um, the first thing you want to do is use the MCM uh, to set up all of your options. And you were already infected with Sanguinar Vampiris before we removed the mod and everything. You still have that attached to your character. I'll be able to show you here. So you still have Sanguinar Vampiris. We'll make all the mod selections and then we'll let the virus run its course and you'll be turned back into a vampire completely. So let's see if my mod configuration is loaded up. Great, it is. So make a few changes. Nope, sometimes the MCM takes a little while to load up. There it goes. Um, I've had that uh, glitch happen before. Don't worry, it's an issue with MCM. I've seen it happen with other mods as well. Uh, I know people might think the mod isn't working properly. It just takes a while to load sometimes. So I'm going to go to hotkeys. I like to have my status key, general options. I usually play in reverse. And I like to have advanced feeding off corpses so it'll affect your satiation. Uh, I really like using blood points. 
and don't like the red screen and don't like the blurred screen so just to show you before we start though I'm gonna go to status and you can see that none of these are currently set up I'm not a vampire I still have Sanguinar Vampiris though so I'm gonna go out of the game and I'm gonna sleep for 72 hours so set PC sleep hours 72 I find it a lot easier than just uh, sleeping 24, then sleeping 24, then sleeping 24. So once it says you've awakened feeling rested, we're going to take a look at our character. And I'm going to wait one more hour, and then the scripts will process. And you become fully infected. So you can see, I've already been playing. I already uh, have some Nex Bitten, some feeding victims I've had from before. And I'm already uh, at a different vampire rank than I normally would be. Um, so as you can see, my character doesn't have any equipment on. That was removed when you were resetting the variables for the mod. So you just have to dress your character again. Let's go into the MCM, mod configuration, and let's check out the status. So you can see everything is set up properly. I've got all the keywords, the scripts are running where they should be, I've got two more levels required for my next rank, and I'm a fully fed vampire. So now all you have to do is, well I would suggest probably make a new save. Now that you're a vampire again, uh, re-equip all of your um, things that were taken off when you reset my mod, and you'll be ready to go. Um, these steps that I've outlined, they are absolutely essential i'll be perfectly honest i'm not certain why some of the steps are available but i've used this mod for three years on numerous playthroughs and you have to have that quote unquote clean save in between or otherwise your game will try to use the player vampire quest that was already running in it um, and it won't work you won't be able to set the game up properly so you have to reset my mod you have to reset sanguinar vampiris then the script will stop. You can remove it all and then make a save. I really think you should use the script cleaner as well. Um, I didn't use it before, but I think it just keeps your game a lot cleaner. And then reinstall better vampires and let the disease run its course. And there you go.